While Fisher was trying to dig his way out, another rider back east was struggling to stop her fall. In the 1920s, Anzia Yazerska's star rose fast, and she became a well-paid novelist and screenwriter. Known as the Cinderella of the Tenements, she had enthralled audiences with stories of her immigrant youth in New York's Lower East Side. With the leveling force of an earthquake, the stock crash of 1929 hit us all. Bankers, industrialists, ditch diggers, and authors were tossed together into the same abyss. Yazerska was six years old when a Russian family arrived at Ellis Island. She put herself through school, against her father's wishes, by working in a sweatshop. At night, she would climb to the roof of their New York City tenement and talk out her heart to the stars. When her stories took her to Hollywood, she thought she had left poverty behind. She was wrong. I tried to find work and met with frightened withdrawal. Friends retreated. Occasionally, I ran into celebrities whom I used to meet. I was naive enough to greet them in warmth at the sight of a familiar face. Only after I saw their embarrassment did I learn to avoid noticing them at all. <laughs> 